on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Your heart isn't the only, not it's not only your most critical muscle, I guess you could say. It's also the hardest working, maybe that you don't, don't even think about. You don't even know. Like it's like breathing. It's like, the you don't James Brown. Think organ. about it, right? It's the yes. hardest working organ in your body. Who better to talk about some fun facts about your heart during Heart Month <laughs> than cardiologist Dr. Scott Davis from Baptist Health here to maybe give you an idea of what exactly your heart does that you don't think about every single day. Like for example, number of beats. You know, everybody right. likes to check their heart rate, check yeah. their heartbeat. Like fitness trackers, everybody's got them. How many overall times on average is a heartbeat? So a day? we're gonna play fun facts today for okay. the heart. And by the way, how about this? Uh, you like this? Yeah, you you this can is, move this thing around. This is, yes. we'll, talk, we'll use this. Okay, all right, cool. So the average adult human heart uh -huh. beats between 60 and 100 times a minute. So if you do the math, that, that's an average of about 100,000 yeah, beats a minute. Say. So, you know, the heart is a muscle just like your leg's a muscle, right? But it never stops. And so it constantly beats and beats and beats. And, and so at night, when you go to sleep, now it'll slow down and it kind of rests at night. Yeah. But then, you know, when you step down on the gas to, you know, bring some groceries in or to go up a flight of stairs, then, you know, you're, it beats faster. So it's the hardest working muscle in your body and it never gets a chance to rest. It never rests. Okay. Um, um, let's talk about age and fitness level. You mentioned carrying yeah. groceries in, but a right. lot of people like to go and exercise and, and work out. Yeah, and so, but as you age, yeah. your heart rate slows down, okay. okay? And as you become more fit, your heart rate slows down. So people know uh, stories about like marathon runners who have resting heart rates in the 40s because they're so conditioned. But then also as you grow older, as you mature, as my grandmother would have said, yeah. then your, your heart rate just intrinsically go, get, gets slower. That's why as we get later in our season of life, say in our 70s and 80s, the intrinsic heart rhythm slows down to the point that you might need a pacemaker. I'm not saying everybody yeah, does, of course, yeah, but yeah. that's just a natural part of aging. So newborn heart might beat upwards of 100 to 190 beats a minute at times, but then as you age, that continues to progressively slow down. So your RPMs kind of slow down. The thing I tell people is the heart's nothing more than a fancy pump. It's, yeah. it's like a motor in your car or your, your truck. All these so, different pipes and, and, and lines that, that pump the blood everywhere, right? right. right? So, yeah. so, so, you know, if, if you want to like say, okay, well, th that's a that's a blown up version of your heart. But yeah, your that's heart, your engine. Like how big is my heart so make a hand make a fist yeah, your, heard that your, before. Use yeah. Your, yeah and stick it right here yeah so that's the same size and shape as your heart so if you pledge allegiance over here uh -huh. you need to start ple pledging allegiance right here <laughs> right down the middle folks Th that, that's where it is yes. and so then <laughs> so, so you see all these red lines here and and I think that picks up pretty well yeah yeah, yeah. so you see these red lines those are the arteries so look like this so if 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 this this is the artery that goes down the front of your heart that's mm -hmm. the LAD so imagine Imagine a pipe going down the front of your heart. Okay. Right? That's yeah. this that's this gas pipe right here. All right. So then you got an artery that goes to the back side and we can scroll around here. That's the circumflex that circles around to the back side of the heart. And then the right coronary artery, this red one here, it's like the base of your palm. So we have three gas lines to get oxygen, to get gas to the heart pump. And then when one or more of these becomes blocked, then we're not getting enough oxygen to the heart tissue. That's angina, right? Yeah. And so that's that's when we come in and do angioplasty or or bypass surgery. So many different things coming together <laughs> yeah. for just one muscle yeah. to make it all work. And the folks at Baptist Health and the cardiologists and Dr. Scott Davis and his crew make sure that yours keeps pumping. Dr. Davis is always you, good to see you. Have a great week. All right, you too. There's the number for the Baptist Health Health Line on your screen.